April Fools! Gotcha! Math is never canceled. Well, how you guys doing today? It is Wednesday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. I hope you have fooled someone today. Um, if not, don't worry. You still got a lot of time. But I'm not going to fool you on this. Today, we are going to do what we did Monday. We're going to carry it over. Except we're going to use the 22 over 7 method. So, first things first. We are working with a semicircle. Now, those two steps that we added last time are going to be used again. And we'll get to that in a second. But I noticed we don't have a diameter. Now, we have a radius. Remember, just multiply by 2. Radius is half your diameter. So, a diameter is your radius 2 times. 6 times 2 is 12 inches. So I have 12 inches as my diameter. Now let's do 22 over 7 method. And it's going to start the same way. 22 times 12, which is our diameter. Then we're going to multiply by 1 half because the semicircle is 1 half. Oops, that's a 4. Semicircle is one half of a circle. And then don't forget we have to add the length. So let's go ahead and let's start. I have 22 over 7 and 12 over 1. Remember that trick I taught you when we were doing the review of a circumference of a circle of cross multiplying? Well, sadly, I mean cross simplifying, excuse me. Sadly, that won't work this time because... 7 and 12 don't share any common factors except for 1, which won't work. 22 and 1, same thing. Only common factor is 1. So we are going to have to multiply across. So let's go ahead and do that. 22, uh, 22 times 12 is 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4 again. Placeholder, 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And I get 264. Uh, with that said, I go ahead and put that at the top. 264. 7 times 1 is 7. Now don't forget, the fractional line is basically division. So now I have 264 divided by 7. 7 doesn't go into 2, so we're going to skip that. 7 does go into 26. Three times. Three times seven is... Dang, you guys are smart. It is 21. Okay, so with that said, let's see. Seven... Oh, subtract. Sorry. That's where my mistake was. Bring down my four. Does seven go into 54? Not evenly. It only goes into 49, and that's seven times. Seven times seven is 49. Subtract that, and I get... 50. Now, if I have to add a zero here, I need to place a decimal point. Bring down my zero. Seven goes into 50 seven times. 49 again. Subtract, and I get one. Bring down the zero. Seven goes into 10 one time. I am going to have a remainder. However, I want you to stop once you get to the hundreds place. So I have 37 and 71 hundredths. Now, I am going to deal with this situation because now what do I have to do? I have to multiply it by one half. So I'm going to start that right here. But instead of multiplying by one half, I'm going to divide by two. So I take my 37 and 71 hundredths, divide by two. Two goes into three one time. Subtract, I get 1. Oh, don't forget decimal point, bring it up all the way. Uh, bring down my 7. 2 goes into 17, 8 times, and I get 16. 1, bring down my 7 again. 2 goes into 17, again, 8 times, and I get 16. Subtract, I get 1, bring down my 1. I have 11. 2 goes into 11, 5 times. 
So now, 2 times 5 is 10. Remember, I want you to stop at the hundreds place. So even though there's a remainder, stop at the hundreds place. Now, I need to add my length. And my length here is my uh, diameter, and that's 12 inches. So all I'm going to do now for my final step is take my semicircle circumference, the arc, and add the length, the arc plus the length. So I have 18 and 85 hundredths plus 12 inches. I'm going to make that decimal point zero zero just to line everything up. 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 1, 1, 1 is 3 decimal point. So the answer using the uh, 22 over 7 method